So looking at the front of the switch, you can see this is still a one gang switch because we've just got one switch in the middle of the plate there. But when we turn it around, we can see that something's changed. So what we've got on the back here indicates that this is a two-way switch. So we've got three terminals now, and all of those terminals have actually got connections inside them that we can make. So they're labeled up common up at the top. We've got L1 down at the bottom here, which would be the equivalent of the one-way terminal on the previous switch that we looked at. But now we've got a third terminal, and this is marked up L2. But at this stage, we just want to be able to recognize that if we turn a switch around and we can see that there's three terminals, each terminal with a connection inside it, that makes this into a two-way switch. So you can see if we go back to the front, we've got a one-gang two-way switch.